Hello, my amazing Geminis. Thanks for tuning into my channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a regular subscriber or watcher, thank you so much for supporting this channel and continuing to watch videos that I upload for you guys. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm going to be using two, for, two different decks for your reading, Geminis, and this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. If this video does not resonate with you, go ahead and check out your Rising and Moon sign. I want each and every one of you Geminis to take what applies and leave the rest, okay? So if this reading does not apply to you, then wait for the next video or just take what applies to you, okay? Um, I always tell every single sign, do not take what does not resonate with you. There's so many readers out here so if it doesn't resonate with you don't take it on as your own okay just take what applies leave the rest so Gemini's let's go ahead and pull three cards from the fairy tarot deck these three cards I place here are going to outline the energy around you and then with my separate deck I'm going to do your love reading specifically so hopefully it's good I hope you Gemini's have been enjoying January 2018 so far hopefully your cards are very very good Gemini let's see I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle on camera for you guys and let's see what you guys have Okay, the first card is number 12, the Hangman, Major Arcana card. The second card is a Leo card, the Strength card, another Major Arcana, card number 11. So you have 12, 11. Okay, so you have two Major Arcana cards here, Gemini. Let's see your last card. Alrighty. The Temperance card, number 14, all right? So you have all major arcana here, Gemini. So this month is gonna be uh, kickstarting the whole year for you guys, like every other zodiac sign. And I definitely do get the feeling here, Gemini's, that this month is going to be a very, very um, expansive month for you guys, all right? So basically here with the Hangman, the Strength card, and the Temperance card, this is all about waiting for the right time to strike. OK, and um, for some reason for you, Gemini's, I just really feel like this month you guys are going to be wanting to call someone out. OK, if you haven't already, um, not so much like argumentative, but I do get the feeling, Gemini's, that this may be a scenario this month in which you guys have to verbally tell someone X, Y and Z. And the person you're connecting with, Gemini, I'm getting Taurus. I'm getting Leo energy, I'm getting Virgo Venus, Virgo Sun, um, Scorpio rising, Scorpio Sun, okay, so mainly Earth and water here so far, but I do get the feeling for you Geminis that this month you are wanting to prove a point. This month you Geminis are wanting someone to hear your side of the story. This month, Geminis, you're wanting someone to see the truth, and I definitely feel like you're going to be wanting to wait for the right moment to tell someone something, okay? Whether it's a breakup, whether for some of you guys it's even a proposal. Um, it, it's going to be massive. Whatever you tell this person this month, if you haven't already, um, or this person's going to tell you, it's going to be massive. It's going to impact your relationship. So I am very, very eager, uh, Geminis, to pull your Celtic Cross spread cards and if I have to do additional messages or spreads for love, you know I always do. So let's go ahead and pull your cards, Gemini. Let's see what you have. Okay, so <laughs> the first card you guys have is the Devil card. This is the Capricorn card, okay? So I wasn't lying, all right? There's something, there's something here, Gemini, that's major, okay? Hopefully it's good. You have the Wheel of Fortune, not a bad card. So all your cards so far, Gemini, are major arcana. The devil, wheel of fortune, hangman, strength, temperance. These are all major arcana. So this is massive energy. So anything you're going to be dealing with this month, Gemini, is going to be expansive, is going to be impactful, to put it lightly. I'm going to go ahead and pull the rest of your cards, and then we'll get right into it. King of Swords. The strength card again. So this Leo card is showing a lot, okay? So just having the strength to carry on, having the strength to, if you are in a relationship, you are in a marriage, to continue this partnership <laughs> with everything in you. Seven of swords, okay? 
All right, so you have the Seven of Swords crowning your reading. And if you are with a water sign, okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's showing here. What's the rest of your cards, Gemini? Nine of Pentacles in your immediate future. Brilliant, brilliant, beautiful card, okay? The Nine of Pentacles is a card that talks about accumulating wealth, being very, very proud of yourself for all the hard work you've been doing. Every single pentacle matters, right? Every single coin pentacle, every single skill set, every single job, every single activity is like so important to you Gemini's this month. So that's definitely going to show with great finances. So if you are going to be very, very diligent and continue to really watch your money this month, I definitely see a lot of good things happening for you guys with your finances, okay? Be careful with spending money on like frivolous things like alcohol. Yeah, okay? Just be careful of that. You have in your environment the tower reversed, so we have the devil upright and the tower reversed. Okay, let's pull the other two cards and see. Queen of Pentacles, brilliant card, practical card, practical card about money, about love, about how you see the world. And lovely, the last card we have is the Ace of Pentacles upright brilliant Gemini's very very nice so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys every single card you have here and we'll get right into it the devil wheel of fortune king of swords strength seven of swords nine of pentacles and majority of the remaining cards are all pentacle cards but talk about money knight of swords the tower reversed is in your environment the tower reversed queen of pentacles is your hope and your final card is the ace of pentacles so here's the deal uh gemini's um what i see for majority of you guys here is that there could definitely be people who are coming in and out okay uh i definitely see energy here of people coming in and out I'm even going to go as far as saying that if it's not you, it definitely could be the other person. Um, and the scenario that I see here playing out is with the with with tower reverse, especially Gemini's, is that it could have been a situation in which uh, there's, there is a lot of um, love interests that are staying the night and then they're leaving the next morning. If you catch my drift and it could be in a scenario in which someone could be tying their colors to you Gemini but it's it's not um, monogamous okay to put it bluntly it's not monogamous energy now the seven of swords is a card that talks about somebody who is really wanting to get away with something and somebody who is willing to sacrifice something to come out on top to really prove a point about either how beautiful they are how attractive they are how well off they are it is the energy of somebody who really is a charming person it's the energy of somebody who believes that they're, they're that they're that they're all that in a bag of chips and i just feel strongly that if it's not you gemini this is a person who is around you it definitely could be a scorpio pisces cancer or an aries okay um or a taurus rising taurus venus virgo sun virgo rising and it really could be any sign here but all in all it just feels like you're having to continuously hit the restart button on this relationship if you're married it's the same thing okay you're having to hold your yourself and 
really grab onto and keep and clutch tightly onto whatever you had before. But it seems like the more you hold on to it, the more it slips from your hands, if that makes any sense, Gemini. So I'm going to go ahead and pull three extra cards to give me the overall energy for this spread. Well, I like to call it the overlapping energy. The Hermit Reversed. But there's definitely energy here, Gemini, regardless of somebody who is coming in and out of someone's life. And when they come in and out, it's not solid. It doesn't make you feel um, very secure. So it's definitely the energy of needing to always consistently have the strength, right? To consistently have the strength to carry on. So there definitely could be some element here uh, Gemini of, of you knowing what's going on whether you're doing it or the other parties doing it or parties are doing it and you know that there is some kind of temptation and some kind of sneaky energy of really um, you know someone coming in and out of your life and it really could only be for physical pleasure and and it's not emotionally doing it for you but nevertheless, Gemini, you are escaping the tower. You are, in a way, you're trying not to get stuck in this sort of bubble of trying to be over spiritual um, and trying not to make everything a big deal. But, and also it could be a Capricorn, just putting it out there. Um, Capricorn Sun especially, because the Devil card is a Capricorn card. But it is the energy here, Gemini, of trying to sweep things under the rug. So if you're somebody who really doesn't like hearing the truth, then this video is not for you. Um, if this is your if this is your situation or you're doing this to somebody else, um, don't be offended, okay? I am just here to say what I see. And so like I said in the beginning, if it doesn't apply to you, then it doesn't apply to you and you can move right along. So you have the King of Wands reversed and you have the Two of Cups reversed. So the Two of Cups upright talks about somebody who either has just gotten a fresh relationship, just fell in love, you know, flirting, texting back and forth, just kind of moved off from the dating stage. And now you guys are actually saying my boyfriend, my girlfriend, that sort of thing. Um, you have it in reversed as well as the King of Wands and the Hermit in reversed. So you have a lot of major arcana here, like I said earlier. So all in all, Gemini, I'm going to go ahead and give my energy to the last three cards of your spread which is the queen of pentacles the ace of pentacles and the knight of swords so definitely could be uh, a gemini libra aquarius a gemini like yourself okay who has some kind of message some kind of bait to get this person to kind of get on your team so to speak all right and that's what's showing up here for you guys but the other two cards you guys have is the ace of pentacles and the queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles is a card of practicality doing things that make sense that enhance your life every day and the ace of pentacles is about investments um, really seeing a lot of money come in for investments or a business a promotion raise. So this is nothing but good omen, a good omen for money. So when it comes to money, Gemini, if you're diligent this month, if you're on top of things when it comes to money this month, you'll be a-okay. So I'm going to go ahead and collect all these cards and we're going to go ahead and do a love spread. This love spread is a spread that I have made for myself for every single zodiac sign. And it more specifically uh, breaks down patterns with love. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these cards for you, Geminis, and see 
more in depth what I see playing out this month for you guys, okay? So if that did not resonate with you at all, then it didn't, and that's good. And you can take the pentacle cards that apply to your life and go with that message instead. Let's go ahead and pull your cards for love. Queen of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Now, this is a card that I love to see in love readings because it really does talk about having a very, very good head on your shoulders. It is the card that talks about having great intuitive senses. So if you are suspect, suspe uh, suspecting cheating, if you are inside your heart feeling like a relationship is coming to a close, then the High Priestess card this month, Gemini, will throw little signs at you, okay? Will we'll say little things in your ear, all right? And so if you have been getting that, um, I would definitely encourage you, Geminis, to take that with a grain of salt, but still to look into it. So whatever that may be, Whatever that may be, if you get a feeling that says to yourself, hey, I need to check so-and-so, I need to talk to so-and-so, if you are getting feelings like that, then go with it because it's showing here that the universe is going to be throwing signs at you this month, Gemini, that I can tell you for sure, it's going to be telling you things and dropping little pebbles in the sand, so to speak, to kind of ripple the effect and make you see what's really going on here. So like I said, whether it's you or the other person, uh, there definitely is some energy here of things need to be things needing to be revealed to you and your timing in the best timing possible. Nine of Pentacles, the tower, the wheel. The strength card again. So having the strength, Gemini, maybe this month to actually walk away from a Leo or a Capricorn or really any sign here, especially Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? It really may be about having the strength this month to call someone out and to say, hey, I know what's going on. You know, I know what you've been doing and I don't like it. And this relationship is over it's done and so yeah i do feel like a lot of you gemini's uh really may be in that mode this month okay um for sure the wheel the strength card so once again lots of major arcana and this time in your love spread gemini you have the tower upright okay so major change is needed once again on the career front everything looks great um, also, if you're with a Libra, okay, if you are with a Libra, you're married to a Libra, I definitely see there could definitely be some infidelity here. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Okay. Show us the last four cards for the spread. For Geminis and their love life. Ace of Cups. So starting again, yes, yes, Gemini, having the strength to start over, having the strength to say, hey, you know what? This marriage, this partner in my life may not be the best thing for me, but I want you guys to realize and note um, more importantly that you guys had the devil card, the Capricorn card in the first spread. So the Capricorn card talks about um, temptation. So it's not solid energy. This may very well be temporary. So if you or your partner right now are feeling tempted to date other people and it hasn't been discussed or you're feeling the, the, the temptation to, uh, you know, have a wandering eye, so to speak, you may need to really, um, have the strength to not do that this month because if you do it really may bring it really may bring down the tower it really may um cause a relationship to be a bust if you go with that devil energy this month 
So if you are in a committed relationship, um, try not to be tempted, right? Like try to turn the blind eye and focus on money because you have a lot of cards here that talk about money. So if you feel like there's issues in a marriage or relationship this month for you Geminis, I would definitely encourage you guys to focus on the positive and to have the strength to say no. This month, Geminis, you really may need to say no. You really may need to say no to a lot of people, um, in a lot of situations because people people are around you that may not have your best intention, um, and you'll know who they are. Like you'll know who they are. They're your high priestess. The the intuition is gonna be on high alert for you guys. So. For a lot of you Geminis, you are in a very, very low vibrational relationship I see here. And, you know, you you really have been hiding yourself away, Gemini, to make a decision. And I think for a lot of you guys, this month, you may have the decision and the opportunity to get out of a unemotional relationship. You have the King of Swords below and you have the Ace of Cups above. OK, so to get out of feeling like you are a second option and to really work yourself into the possibilities of a new relationship. And I'm going to go ahead and pull three more cards to further close this reading. But that's what I see here, Gemini's. It's about ignoring temptation. It's about following your intuition and it's about rebuilding Re rebuilding your self-confidence and rebuilding, you know, all the good things about yourself that you may be not realizing how good you really, really are and how courageous and how strong you really are, Gemini. It's about really realizing that and saying, hey, if I am in a bad situation, I and I alone have the opportunity and the ability to get out of that. And the three clarifying cards you have is the four of pentacles, the emperor, and the three of pentacles reversed. So I did say that there could definitely be an Aries you're connected with. Okay, the emperor card over here and the four of pentacles over here. So this is about holding on to every single pentacle. So yes, I do see a lot of you Geminis are in transformation mode. A lot of you Geminis are changing how you work, how many hours you work, maybe even what you do. So yeah, there's a lot of energy here of like self-doubt, but you have the strength, Gemini, to overcome this this month. A good omen card, the wheel, ace of cups. So overall, the strength, the high priestess, Hey, two major, so many major arcana here, Gemini. So you have the ability this month to really, really do what's best for you. So Gemini, this is your love reading for January. Um, feel free to subscribe, share, and donate. All the links and things are below. Um, information is below. If you want a part reading with me, um, go ahead and email me. Um, I do have a wait list currently for private readings and I love every single one of you Gemini's. I hope you guys have an amazing January. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.